Hey everybody, this is John. Welcome back to another review video. Today I'm going to be reviewing a, a new product from the Coca-Cola Company. And this is their new uh, line of Coca-Cola with coffee. Um, you might be familiar, um, I think 90s, maybe early 2000s, Coca-Cola came out with uh, Coke Black, spelled B-L-A-K. And that was supposed to be a coffee flavored coca-cola um in other countries they've sold it as like um coca-cola cafe or coca-cola plus coffee um anyway this is the newest of the uh, type of coffee flavored coke they have and they have three main flavors they have basically the original one which is dark blend they have one that has vanilla, and then this one is caramel. Now they do also have a zero sugar variety um, of the dark blend and of the vanilla. They don't have a zero sugar of the caramel. Um, all the advertisements did not show a zero sugar for the caramel. I haven't seen anything that said there was. Um, everything usually shows five cans with the zero sugars just being the dark blend and the vanilla. Um, I've had the Coca-Cola Black back in the day. I don't remember it being very popular. That's why it kind of went away. Um, interesting though, back in December of 2019, uh, Pepsi tweeted out there was a few uh, news articles about Pepsi saying they're gonna, in 2020, they will be releasing Pepsi Cafe. And it was going to come in regular and vanilla. And it was supposed to come out April of 2020. Um, April of 2020 came and went. The entirety of 2020 came and went. And not only did Pepsi never release Pepsi Cafe, but if you go and look at their Twitter, back in December of 2019, any mention of Pepsi Cafe has been removed. The only evidence you can still see is um, people who took screenshots because they were excited about it, took screenshots of it and tweeted it around the same time and were saying can't wait uh, for Pepsi Cafe to come out next year. Well, it didn't. And uh, I don't know if you can blame the pandemic for it because they said it was supposed to come out in April of 2020. And uh, I know, for, at least for my work, we didn't get uh, sent home for, for uh, work from home until mid-April. So if it was going to come out in April, you should have been up to that point. No stoppage, no delays, and it should be ready. And even if there was like a short delay, it should have eventually came out. You had like the the cans drawn out. You, the cans were designed. You had two flavors. Coca Cola came out, I believe it was July of 2020, and said we're going to have five flavors of Coca Cola with coffee: three regulars and two zero sugars. And in January of 2021, they came out. So. Pepsi announces in December, they say four months from now we'll have it, and it's been 13, 14 months from now, and not only do we not have it, but they're trying to be silent about it. Coca-Cola said six months from now we're going to have it. Six months from now, we have it. We have Coke with coffee. It's here in front of me. I'm going to taste it soon. Um, but I guess Pepsi's too worried about... Uh, having their Twitter campaigns where only a certain amount of people can try the Apple Pie Pepsi or only a certain amount of people can try the cocoa, the hot cocoa Pepsi. Um, and I don't understand why so much time and money is being spent on advertising something that you're going to send for free to a small amount of people instead of doing what you already said that you were going to give to everyone. Anyway, 
Let's stop the rant. Let's get to the review. Start with the dark blend, because I think that's a good place to start. Um, there's coffee powder in the ingredients. And it says, the, the powdered coffee comes from Brazilian coffee beans. And there is 69 milligrams of caffeine per 12 ounces. Nice. You know what this tastes like? Coke with coffee. It's, it's very sweet. There's a uh, one can, twelve ounces. That's right, only eighteen grams of sugar. Is that normal? One can of Coke, twelve ounce can of Coke, only eighteen grams of sugar. Huh. I always thought Coke had more than eighteen grams of sugar in a can. Wasn't surprised. Vanilla is eighteen. The caramel is eighteen. Let's try the vanilla Coke with coffee. Very uh, vanilla scented. This one when I cracked open, coffee. This one when I cracked open, definitely vanilla. This one, the vanilla overpowers the coffee flavor. Oh, there's sucralose in this as well. Is there sucralose in that one? Yeah. That's why it's so sweet, even though there's only 18 grams. I say only 18 grams, it's still a lot. But uh, they also have sucralose in here, which I believe is Splenda. It's so definitely coffee flavor. It's mostly vanilla. If this was just labeled vanilla Coke, I would not be able to tell that coffee. Let's try the caramel one. This one has the least definable smell. There's some coffee in here. It's like an aftertaste of coffee. I don't know. I suppose there's a little bit of carameliness to that, but Coke already has a a dark color and a sweetness to it. It's almost caramel-like. So when you think something's caramelized, it's browned and it's sweet. Like if you caramelize onions, they get brown and they get sweet. And Coke's already like that. So this one, there is like this coffee aftertaste to it, but the media hit almost tastes like a regular Coke. To me, the caramel one is like Coke with a coffee finish. The vanilla coffee just tastes like vanilla Coke. But if you really want Coke with coffee, and just to taste like Coke with coffee, 
the dark blend is actually my favorite in this instance. It has the strongest coffee smell. It has the strongest coffee taste. Yep. I'm going to say, unless you already like the Coke, the vanilla Coke, then the vanilla uh, coffee Coke is going to taste the exact same. You'll like that. The caramel one, I think most people can just skip. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't taste definably like caramel, and the coffee flavor is very much an afterthought. The dark blend, though, this one I would say, uh, especially if you're a coffee lover, the Coke uh, with coffee dark blend is the one is the one that you need to go out and try. I like it. It tastes like coffee. It smells like coffee. <laughs> Excuse me. Overall, that's the best flavor. I'm going to give the Coca-Cola with coffee dark blend an 8 out of 10. I'm going to give the vanilla one a 7.2 out of 10. And the caramel one, a 7 out of 10. Uh, like I said, the vanilla one just tastes like Coke vanilla. And the caramel one just tastes kind of like regular Coke with a small bit of a coffee finish. And definitely the one that you could skip out of these three. Uh, anyway, let me know if you've tasted these. If you've tasted the zero sugar variety, which I couldn't find at the moment, so I only have these three. Plus, I don't need to drink five cans of highly caffeinated coffee. Um, really ever. Um, but, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one. Bye.